Hey everybody, check out how we added a slide to our deck. We have a switchback set of stairs on our raised house and we have a nice little landing right where the stairs intersect and we wanted to add a slide to get down to the yard. We bought it from Home Depot and it came with a lot of parts as you can see. Each of those gets together into one of these tube sections. Each of these tube sections is connected by a bolt, a couple of washers, and a nut. Let's just be honest, there are a lot of pieces in this slide setup. I'm talking literally hundreds of pieces of hardware, and you have to make six of these different tube sections. This is by far the most time consuming part of this entire process, is putting the slide together. It's a lot of socket wrench time and a lot of twisting, but in the end, you end up with all of these different sections that will then be put together. To be honest, I totally forgot to take video of actually putting these together, so here's a really cool picture of me as I'm screwing the sockets together right at the end. Once the slide itself was built, there's a couple of wood components that had to be built too. This is a base support that goes under the exit of the slide. It's a couple pieces of two x four and a bunch of screws holding it together. And then you add a little support bracket at the top that'll later screw into the bottom of the slide to hold it in place. The other wood part to assemble for this slide setup is the actual entrance support. This is bigger two x fours that are screwed together that will connect the slide to the deck off of our stairs. What we had to do here was eliminate the old section and what we did to do that was grab a reciprocating saw and cut through all of the balusters on our railing. The easiest way to get balusters out is to cut them in half and then twist them around until they eventually pop out. There's going to be a bunch of nails, especially if this is an outdoor project because builders usually just go bang, 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 bang and hit as many in as they can. We used the reciprocating saw to cut everything out, kicked it out, and then we were ready to fix it up. Once the deck was ready, we took that wooden assembly and put it in place, screwed that in in the four corners, and then went back and added a bunch more screws to tie it into the posts. This thing is extremely sturdy. It doesn't matter that you're gonna have kids jumping into there, holding it on, nothing is gonna happen. This was very, very, very sturdy. I really wasn't joking when I said that this kit comes with hundreds of screws and bolts. Once everything was in place, we got a can of exterior white paint, painted the assembly so that it would look exactly like the rest of the stairs, we used wood filler to fix some of the holes on where we had taken out the balusters, painted those as well. Now it's time to finally install the slide. This is definitely a multi-person job. You cannot do this by yourself. Somebody has to hold up the slide while somebody else screws it in. First, use both people to get it in place, and then, like I said, Somebody needs to screw it in place and the other person's got to hold it so it stays there. Easiest thing to do here, again, screw it in on one side, go to the other side and screw it in so then it will hold up. Then go back and add about 12 more bolts into the wood assembly. After the entrance is in place, the rest of it's pretty easy. Just got to attach in the wooden support at the bottom that goes through one of the other nuts and then add one more 2x4 between your support beams. This will keep the slide in place. This slide looks awesome. It is so much fun for our two year old. He loves going up and down the slide and the stairs. He has a great time with it and it's super sturdy. We love how this thing turned out. It did take a while, but it is totally worth it. Go grab one for yourself today and add a slide to your deck. 